Hey guys, this is Damien with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your Nexus S 4G. So to begin, you must have a rooted Nexus S 4G and also an unlocked bootloader. If you don't have either, you can head on over to our how to root the Nexus S 4G tutorial and we'll have you up and running in a very short amount of time. Okay, so once you have your Nexus S all set up and rooted and have the unlocked bootloader, you want to head on over to here to pick out a, a custom ROM that you like. Okay, next we need to plug the phone in with the USB cable and turn on the USB storage. Okay, so after you're done downloading the ROM, we need to place it on the root of the SD card, not in any other files or folders. Um, just simply drag and drop it over to your SD card location and wait for it to be done copying. Okay, once you have the ROM loaded on the SD card, go ahead and unplug the USB cable. Power off the phone. Okay, with the phone powered off, we need to power back on into Fastboot in order to get into recovery to flash the ROM. So to get into Fastboot, we hold the volume up button and the power button simultaneously. Okay, now we have Fastboot. Now in Fastboot, scroll down using the volume down button until you see the recovery highlighted. And select it by pressing power. Okay, so before we do anything else, before we even get started, it's vi very vital that you do an Android backup. Um, this is just in case you mess up or if you want to go back to your original settings. And it's real easy to do. So once you're in recovery, scroll down using the volume down button to backup and restore. Select the power button. Select the first one, which is backup. And now it's going to go ahead and back all your data up. Okay, once you have recovery loaded up, we need to wipe and factory reset the phone. So using the volume down button, scroll down until you see wipe data factory reset, press power. Scroll down to delete all user data, press the power button again. And now it's going to reset your entire phone. Okay, now that you've master reset your phone, we need to go ahead and flash the ROM. So with the volume down button, we need to scroll till we see the install zip from SD card, press the power. Select choose zip from SD card, press power. And then scroll to the ROM that you place on the SD card and press power again. And then scroll one more time to confirm you want to install that and then press power once more. Now it's going to go ahead and flash the ROM. Okay, once once the ROM's completely flashed, we want to reboot the phone. So navigate back to the main menu and the first item is highlighted which is reboot system now and then again press power. Okay, so you've successfully flashed your first custom ROM. If you want to choose a different ROM, you can just simply redo this procedure and you can just select a different ROM. Enjoy.